Hey guys, The Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm doing a viewer requested video. I have a video about the Sports DV action camera. This is the Mini F9 action camera. You see it on screen right here. It's quite a popular little camera that came out many years ago, and I bought it to use as a hunting aid, as a, as a barrel camera, and used it in hunting, and I produced a review on it that has been a very popular video, and I've received a lot of questions about it. Um, but in some of those questions were from viewers that wanted to know how to add a red dot in the video feed. Now there are some hunting cameras out there like the shot cam and the tactic cam that actually have those and they wanted to know if it was possible to add a red dot to this. Well the Mini F9 does not have that function to add the red dot, the red dot on screen but it can be added in post and several viewers have asked me to show them how to do it. Now it's not a super complicated uh, process but it does take two programs an image editor and a video editor and I'm going to show you how to do that and once you figure it out you'll see it's not that hard. So let me just jump right into the image editor first and we'll get the red dot ready and then we'll go to the video editor after that. So let's go to the video at the uh, image editor. Okay guys, I'm using Microsoft PhotoDraw, which is a 22-year-old program from Microsoft. It's a really powerful image editor. So I want to say there's probably about 10,000 different image editors out there that you can use for this. And uh, no way can I cover them all. You're going to have your favorite one. As long as your image editor has the capacity to make um, PNG files, that's all you really need. Because that's the file you're going to need to save it to. So let me just jump in right here, and the process will be different with each image editor, um, but you're basically going to be performing the same function, okay? So uh, I'm just going to create a new document. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have an image that is the exact size of HD video, which is 1920 by 1080p resolution. So I've already got that set up here, but you can see here it's 1920 by 1080p. That is HD video size. If you're doing 4K, obviously you would do bigger, but that's the size of the video that I'm working with. So now we have a blank project right here. Now all we need to do is add a red dot to the center, but it's kind of hard to know exactly where the center is. So all I'm going to do to verify that is just grab this little line maker and grab and draw a line from corner to corner here, okay? All right, and then I'll dra grab that there and I'll draw a line from corner to corner here. Okay, perfect crisscross. So we know that that is the exact center of the screen here. So now we just need to draw a dot. Now you're going to draw a dot by a lot of different ways. Um, this one here has paint tools. Uh, I can come over here, grab the solid, grab the red, and... Um, you know, just basically hit that right there in the center and put the red dot there. Okay, so there's the red dot. Finish that, and then I can just take these two things out. Now I know that I've placed the red dot directly in the middle of the screen. Now, in order to save this, we need to save it in a PNG format. Okay, so we'll go to Save As. Okay, we'll go here to go down a couple... PNG. Now, different PNG programs are going to have different settings. I'm just going to name this red dot. Okay. And I'm going to make come over here and it's going to say here, save transparency. Now, it's going to be different in your program, but you want to make sure that you're saving a transparent in image. And this can only be done with the PG PNG format. This is a universal format for a transparent background. Okay. So that's already saved, and we will save that there. And, okay, now we are going to go, and I'm going to go to my desktop here, and I will open. You can see it right here. You can't even see it. So I've opened it up, and there, there it is. It looks like it's got a white background, but you can see that it actually doesn't have a white background. Okay, so th there's our red dot, even though you can't see it. Um, we're going to open that in our video editor so I'm just gonna right click on it and go open with and I'm using Corel Video Studio just like image editors you're gonna to have to choose your own uh, video editor and they're all you know they're gonna be very different in some manners but they're all going to be about the same way regardless of which one you're using okay so we see our red dot right here and now 
what we need to do is add that to our video. So this is a track I just shot outside just so the sky and stuff around my backyard. Uh, so I'm going to add this as an overlay. So that's what you need is an overlay. We're going to add that, stretch it out the same size, and going to go over here and we're going to fit to screen width. We already know it's the right size. So now the red dot is right in the middle. And if the red dot is too big, you can go back to your image editor and you can make it smaller or bigger, however you want. So now what we're going to do is just play this video and you'll see that the red dot is in the center of the screen exactly perfectly in the middle of the screen wherever the camera points it has got the red dot there and that is how you do it we'll just render it over here okay actually you know and we're going to just use the same as the project size so it'll use the same exact uh, file settings and it will render quite rapidly go back here here's our, our video and we'll play it and there you go there is the red dot in the middle of the screen, exactly where it's pointing. Now, it probably needs to be a little bit smaller, but uh, for video demonstration purposes, this works fine. And that is how you add a red dot, not only to this, but to any video that you want a red dot in the middle of the screen. This is how it's done in post-processing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer, signing out.